What I'm about to share with you guys isn't something that is absolutely new. It's been around for a while, but it's perhaps one of the biggest game changers for me when it comes to how I'm working with simulations in Blender. What I'm talking about here are VDB files, volume files that you can import into Blender. And a really cool thing is if you're struggling with um, computer simulations, it can be sometimes a little bit tricky, but the biggest issue oftentimes is just the computing power required. Even with my computer, um, it's really hard to get um, really good quality simulations in Blender that don't take hours, if not even sometimes days. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys where on the internet you can go to get these free files and you can download them. I'm gonna show you how to bring them into Blender, how to set it all up. And you can see um, this is one of the results I've gotten. So I'm gonna show you the whole fire setup and hopefully this is something you guys can use in your workflow. If you haven't already joined the community discord, check it in the description below. It's a really awesome community and um, there's a lot of people sharing their work on there. Very inspiring. So let's jump into this tutorial and I really hope you guys enjoy it. So perhaps one of the best sites that I found so far has got to be Django FX. Once again, the link is in the description below. So you can see here, this is what we have. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff to pick from. Really, really amazing um, previews available here as well. Now you can see naturally these files are quite big. Here we got one that's almost seven. This one is 5.5. This one is five gigabytes. But if you scroll down every now and then, you're going to get one that's quite a decent size. So this one here, just a little fire. It's 200 frames, so perfect for a little example. And it's only 59 megabytes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna download that one. There's also another one here that's a little bit bigger, um, but it's only 101 frames, but it's probably a bit better quality as you can see there. But this is the one we're gonna go with with the example. It has some nice smoke as well. Now you're gonna just click download like this, and you're just gonna download this zip. It's gonna come up with this. So I've canceled that because I've already downloaded it. But what you're gonna do now is you're gonna pause, you're gonna wait for the download to finish, and then you can play this video again, and we go from there. So if you've done that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to wherever your downloads is. So for me, it's over here. And you're gonna see small campfire VDB. You're gonna right click, and you're gonna go extract all, and you're just gonna extract that zip folder. And you're gonna see it opens up with this folder here called small campfire. It has a little preview video, which is really cool. But on top of that, what's really cool, even cooler, is this small campfire VDB file. So you're just gonna take that, you're gonna drag it onto your desktop, wherever. I just like putting it on my desktop, okay? It just makes things easier for the tutorial. And then you're gonna launch Blender. Now I'm gonna be using, um, I think the Blender 3.3 for this one. So I'm just gonna launch Blender 3.3. This should work in any kind of um, build of Blender that you're currently using. And um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get rid of all these default objects, X to delete them. And I'm just gonna enable my screencast keys. I'm simply just doing that so you guys can see the keys that I'm pressing. You're gonna now go Shift A, and you're gonna go to your volume options here. And you're gonna actually see something here called Import Open VDB. And you're gonna click on that. And then in this case, I placed that file on my desktop. So I'm gonna to go to my desktop and I'm gonna to go to small campfire VDB and I click on it. And then in, in here, instead of just having to click on each one and holding a shift, you can just press A and it'll select all of these files for you. And you're gonna go import open VDB volume. And you're gonna see here, it's quite a large. So let's go shift A. Let's just add in an empty as a dummy object. And then let's select our small campfire Let's just scale that way down. Okay, let's make it much more practical. Okay, something like that. And then we're just gonna go G, Z, and move it up till it's kind of sitting on the um, floor here. And then I'm gonna go into my right view. I'm just gonna move it forward a little bit. You can see the origin point is off. Um, that's quite normal. So what we're gonna do to make things easier, we're gonna just, with this selected, we're gonna hold in shift and select that object, um, empty object. And we're gonna go control P and we're gonna go object I'm just gonna keep that transform. So now we can just control it with this, okay? And if you actually hit the space bar, you can see this is playing in real time. Now we know from the website here that this one is 200 frames. And up here you can actually see it is compatible with Blender. So let's now go and go to our end frame value and let's just make that 200, like so. And if we were to now play this, you can see it's gonna play the whole animation and then it just starts here at the beginning again. So that's really, really cool. Now, obviously this is great, but now we wanna actually be able to see this. So let's go, and I'm gonna just show you first of all how to do this in cycles, and then we'll get into EV, but both work great. 
We're gonna go over to our render settings and let's just change this to cycles. If you have a GPU, I'd recommend you use that. I'm gonna go use my GPU. And let's just set the max samples for the render to 90, okay? And we obviously need a light. So let's go Shift A. Let's just go to our light options. Let's add in a sunlight. G, move it over and just rotate it in. Very, very simple. So now we have all of that set up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna select our volume object. We're gonna go over to our shading workspace. And let's just click here on new. And by default, it'll make this a principled volume, which is exactly what we want. We're gonna press Z and we're gonna go into rendered. We can now see it. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make this world um, environment up here in our properties. Let's just make that darker. So we can see the smoke stand out. And let's select, I mean, we already have the volume object selected, but there's a few things we're gonna do here with these settings. So first of all, we wanna come here to the black body intensity and let's drag that all the way up to one. You can now see that we have the fire part of this coming through, but we also need to come here to the temperature. Let's change it to something like 5,000. Okay, it's quite bright, but the temperature here is not the attribute that we want. If we actually go over to the object data properties for this, you can actually see that we have these two attributes and the one we wanna use here is the flames because it's the flames we're working with. So now if you type in flames, it's gonna use that attribute for the VBD object. And now we can see that is looking amazing. And that's pretty much it. That is how simple it is. At this point, some of the things you can mess around with would be the density. I recommend something like free because um, we just want to see the smoke a little bit better. And this color up here, that's actually the smoke color. So you can make that, you know, green if you wanted to for whatever reason, but why would you? I would just recommend leaving that a light kind of gray. Um, if you're burning like tires or rubber, you might make it a little bit darker. And then over here, you can also increase the temperature maybe to something like 6,000. Um, you need to go quite high for this, but anyway, you can see how easy it is. Now the black body tint here, um, so we use the black body intensity, that in increases or decreases the amount that you see the flames coming through. So very simple to understand, but the black body tint can allow you to change the color. So if you wanted to go some nice green looking flames or some you know more yellowy kind of color or more mango, more red, maybe even purple. I mean, it's all sorts of crazy things you can do with this. Um, but I'm gonna recommend you just keep it to kind of the natural kind of colors here. And that's it. So now if you wanna change it to Eevee, all you have to do is go to your render settings. You can change it to Eevee. And there are a few things you're gonna to wanna to do. You're gonna to wanna to enable ambient occlusion, a screen space refractions, and let's also go to volumetrics. And let's go to the tile size here, and you're gonna to wanna to make that as small as possible. And that's just gonna give you better uh, resolution there. Samples, you can increase that to about 120. And uh, that's it. It's really, really simple. So there you have it. Now you can import these sort of simulations into Blender quite easily. You can use them. And I really hope you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope it's been handy. Feel free to check out my Skillshare. You can have it for one month free if you use my link in the description below. And there's a lot of really cool courses that I put in there, so make sure to check that out as well. And also we have the Discord server. You can also check that out where we have to pick so 3D community. I'll see you guys next time.